What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a full review for you of Superphone Gracing Sprint's lineup. This is the Motorola Photon 4G. Let's go ahead, dig in, and see if this Photon is set to stun. But I'm bumch. All right, so let's take a look at the box. It's sort of a newer design, very rectangular, all kinds of globe business here. Letting you know this is indeed a global phone. There should be a SIM card hidden somewhere inside of here. So there's the box, tech specs, all that kind of business. Got the phone number covered up right there. Uh, Sprint was kind enough to send this over as a test review unit. We'll go ahead and make it do its little strip tease for us, make it a little more romantic than that. What's under here? What's under here? Have you been good? Oh, you've been good. So there's a Motorola <laughs> Photon 4G in its yellow Sprint box. We'll go ahead and open it up and boom. There is the Motorola Photon 4G. Got a little tab, we'll pull this up. We'll push it off to the side for just a quick second. We'll run through what else is in the box and then we'll get to all the good stuff. So we have micro USB charging and sync cable, wall cord, and a Sprint book to give you all your information about the phone. Stuff you'd expect. Um, doesn't appear to be any headphones in there though. All right, so that is off to the side. Let's take a look here at the reason you're all watching this video. Uh, it looks like there already are fingerprints here on the display. So either the PR folks had this first or someone else checked it out before I did. Um, this, I'll go ahead and actually try and turn it on while I'm talking here. So you can have something to look at. See if the battery has any juice. All right, so there you go. Say it's got a dual core. We'll talk about that in just a second. It's got a 4.3 inch screen. That's pretty becoming pretty standard right now, uh, with a resolution of 480 by I'm sorry 540 by 960. Uh, it's got a 1700 milliamp hour battery, which is going to hopefully power this thing for quite a bit of time. Android 2.3, uh, Nvidia's dual core Tegra 2. So that's dual core, uh, one gigahertz on each core. On the back of this guy. This is not a 3D phone. It is an 8 megapixel sensor on the back with a dual LED flash, sort of covered up in blue plastic. I know you guys love when things are covered up here in plastic, so if I can get that off. I don't have any nails. I might have a hard time with it. Get it. Boom. Got it. Uh, and that'll be able to shoot video at 720p, but that's not the only camera here living on the guy. There's also one on the front, which is VGA. Uh, so that's 0.3 megapixels for all your video chatting needs. Uh, a little bit of a heavier phone. Uh, it weighs just about 5.57 ounces or 158 grams. That's how you do your uh, measurements. Uh, looks like we've got a new version of Motorola's Don't Call It Moto Blur. I'm not sure what they're calling it now. But it's the less obtrusive, actually nice to use uh, version of not Moto Blur here. Uh, of course, it's a 4G phone, so you're gonna get some WiMAX speeds. Let's go ahead and do a tour of it. Am I getting 4G here? I'm only getting 3G where I am. So sad. All right, so on the left-hand side, you've got your uh, micro USB charging port and HDMI out. I love that these aren't covered. I hate when you gotta sort of pull off flaps uh, to get to them. So there's where your charging port's going to live, uh, an HDMI out, so you can kick this stuff off to your television. 3.5 millimeter headset jack, power and lock button in my favorite place, the upper right hand corner. You've got a really nice sort of, here we can hear that. It's got a bit of a textured volume rocker. You can really easily feel that with your thumb. I like the location there. And you've got a physical camera button. On the back, you've got the sort of soft touch plastic and you also have a kickstand. So you can kick it with this uh, as well as a speaker grill. Uh, but there's supposedly some mystery fun things here. Uh, living on the back of this guy, this is a world phone. See, it's got that cool sort of gingerbread turn off screen thing. Let's do that. Pew! Powers on like an old TV. All right, so let's see if I can pull off the back cover on this thing. I'm notoriously bad. Not as bad as Noah, but not the best when it comes to removing back covers. Uh, but there should be a SIM card living in here. So if you do a lot of traveling uh, or you want to take your phone abroad, you'll be able to get some uh, 3G speeds on. Oh, which is quite nice, and I believe this actually has support for uh, the 850 band, so possibly you could even unlock it um, and use it regionally, but there are way better choices for that. All right, I'm going to want to break this. This is a tough one. All right, there we go. Almost there. Boom. And here is where the SIM card lives, and it looks like it's just a non-branded, just a Sprint SIM card. So when you're traveling, uh, you can go ahead and get your traveling data and phone calls on, I have to worry about getting a new phone. So that was a very long pulling off the back cover to show you it had a SIM card. Uh, but it does have a SIM card. So for all your Photon 4G information, be sure to stay tuned to Techno Buffalo. I'll be showing you all the rest of the 
goodness the phone has in running it through its usual paces. Uh, we've got the four Motorola capacitor buttons on the bottom. You've got the menu button, the home button, back button, and search. And you've got everything you'd expect from uh, Android 2.3 Gingerbread, as well as Motorola's, I don't know what they're calling it now, um, not Motoblur uh, custom UI here. So guys, anything you want to see, go ahead and leave your comments down below, and I will read them, and I will try and respond to them. And more importantly, I will try and answer them uh, in an upcoming Photon video. Let me go ahead and do a real quick size comparison here with some other 4.3 inch devices. Uh, here is the LG Thrill. Go ahead and see what that guy looks like. See how big the Thrill is actually next to the Photon. Uh, and here is the HD7S. We've got a smartphone tasty sandwich here. Let's go ahead and do a little stackaroo. And you can see the size and thickness of all these guys. So there you go, it's a Photon in the middle. Sort of a weird thing to say, uh, but I really like the volume rocker here on this. Uh, it feels nice. The phone has definitely a high quality build to it. Um, it's close to the size, at least, from being a edge-to-edge -edge display. Uh, it really has a, just a nice uh, feel in the hand. So if you're on Sprint or looking to possibly change over to Sprint, uh, this is definitely one of the phones that's worthwhile checking out. It's certainly at the top of their lineup uh, with the Evo 3D. So go check it out. Uh, hopefully you will like it. Um, I'll tell you if I like it. Uh, in the coming days and week. Uh, anyway, guys, John Rettinger, Techno Buffalo. See you in the next one.